Liz and the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one of my Sunday sewing catch ups and I've got lots of fabric and ideas to share with you and a couple of sewing subscription boxes that I wanted to share with you as well today. Not a huge amount of sewing going on this week. Um, I've just been concentrating on finishing my Heather blazer and then I also made a start on the Fibre Mood Admiral jacket, which I'll get onto in a moment. Um, before I share everything that I wanted to share with you today, I'll let you know what I'm wearing. And I've pulled out quite an old make. This is a Tilly in the Buttons Marnie blouse made in this beautiful, like really lovely, bright, colourful fabric from Semi Sunshine. And I've actually got it paired with, if you watch my videos probably about a month, month and a half ago, I sewed up some Tilly in the Buttons Thea trousers and they ended up being a little bit too small for me. But actually, this is a prime example of why I don't really enjoy sewing trousers because my tummy area fluctuates so much and I've actually got those Thea trousers on and they're too big for me. So I'll stand up and show you. And um, yeah, this is the blouse. It's just tucked in. I've done the long sleeves and I've got the pin tucks on the sleeves, the pin tucks on the front. I've got the lovely ruffle. Um, it's got tie back detail here and then you can see that gorgeous ruffle. I love this fabric. I think it's so fun. And then if I stand up, you'll be able to see they're a bit crump crumpled because it's a Sean Bray fabric. But yeah, I've got the Thea trousers on and they've got the patch pockets on the back. Whoop. Um, but yeah, as you can see, and if you can see there, they're too big now. Um, and when I first sewed them up, they were too tight on me. Um, I did keep them because I thought this might happen and this is what tends to happen and this is one of the reasons why I really enjoy sewing up trousers that have got an elasticated waistband or a flat at the front and elastic in the back because my tummy changes weekly. Um, I bet if I try these on next week they'll be too tight but for now they fit me and they feel comfortable and I've really enjoyed wearing them out today um, and they go perfectly with this blouse. So I am looking for and I'm trying the Silark bob pants um, I've decided on some fabric to test them out and I've had lots of people get in touch with me say thank you for your kind of tips and advice in terms of sewing those trousers up. But I'm looking forward to giving those a try to see if I like the shape of them because I do feel like I need some trousers that I can pair with things like this. And also the um, Madswick blouse that I sewed up, um, I haven't worn that yet because I'm not quite sure how to style it. I feel like I do need some staple trousers in plain fabrics like these ones in my wardrobe. But yeah, that's the frustration about my tummy. Um, sometimes I'll sew things and they start off by fitting okay. And then by the end of the sewing project, they're too tight. Then I keep hold of them. And then a week later, they fit me fine. So that's what I'm wearing today. I haven't, like I said at the start of this video, got a huge amount of sewing to share with you. I've had a really busy week work-wise. Um, I went out for friends on Friday night, had a really lovely catch up with some friends and then on Saturday I surprised Ruby and Lola and I took them both to see Heather's the Musical at the theatre. It was a surprise. Um, I actually hadn't decided whether I was going to take them or not. It depended on how our week kind of progressed and how tired we all were but it was on at our local theatre so I did surprise them and they both had an amazing time um, but that was my Saturday. Normally I like to give myself a couple of hours sewing time on Saturday. And then in the evening, um, we snuggled up in bed and we watched Strictly, which is our favourite thing to do in the autumn winter time. I love in the evening on a Saturday watching Strictly. So we'll watch the results show tonight. So it's left me with very little time to sew. Work has been hugely busy. Uh, we've got two more weeks left of this half term and then it's half term. So I've got lots and lots of sewing plans for half term, which I'm really excited about devoting a bit of time to. Um, I have finished the Heather jacket, so I'll share that with you. And I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. I haven't actually got photos of myself wearing this jacket. It won't go with this outfit, but I will just pop it on just so you can see what it looks like. But I'm really, really pleased with how it's finished. And I know that I'm going to get so much wear out of this jacket. Um, I mean, I say it doesn't go with what I'm wearing. If I was into kind of drastic pattern clashing, then I would definitely wear this jacket. I've decided not to put a button and a buttonhole um, on the jacket. 
the lining is like a viscose linen in this gorgeous green color which i think goes really nicely with that leopard print denim the leopard print denim is a denim that came in the dream wardrobe fabric godmother dream wardrobe box but they have got this in stock so i'll link it down below but yeah i really love the heather blazer i really love the relaxed fit of the heather blazer you are meant to have a buttonhole and a button but i will never wear this fastened and then i've just got the pockets you can't really see the pockets properly and i tend to line i like to line my pockets so that's what i've done that's what the lining looks like and i think it really complements the denim and then yeah i really love the fit you've got that collar detail i don't know if you can see it at the back but you've got that collar detail at the back as well um fairly fitted sleeves as well you can just see the lining poking out is because i've got my watch on and the type of blouse that i've got on underneath i've given it a really good press as well this jacket um but yeah really really enjoyable so and i actually have really enjoyed having that to just chip away at over the last couple of weeks i've really taken my time um sewing it up and it's been a really really enjoyable sew i know i'm going to get so much wear out of that i know it's going to really add to my wardrobe I've got a couple of heather blazers and I have been really enjoying wearing them to work. I really like the fit of them. I really like the style of that blazer as well. It's got really deep pockets, which is always super helpful as well. And then the other thing that I started sewing and I'm feeling a bit frustrated with it and I think it's because I'm tired. So I have stopped sewing and I've walked away from it. I'll just grab it. So I have started sewing up the Fiber Mood Avril jacket. I think it's called the Avril jacket. So here it is. I've started constructing the front pieces and then I've added pockets. Again, you're supposed to use a gusset for the pockets, but I decided to line them with the same fabric. So that's what I've done. I don't know what I've done with the other. Oh, it's on the bed. Um, but yeah, I've got the front. Both front pieces um, are sewn up. So the next step is attaching the sleeve. So I need to attach the front sleeve and that's the bit that's left me kind of scratching my head a little bit. So I'm walking away from it for now. I'm gonna have a little bit of a break, um, reread the instructions and then go back to it when I understand. Um, Cause you add the sleeves in two different sections. So you have the front sleeve part here and then there's a notch that I need to match it up to. And there's a notch on the front sleeve. I just couldn't work out how far along I sew and then where the rest of the sleeve goes up because it's a really funny pattern piece shape if I've got an image of the pattern piece for the sleeve I'll insert it now so you can see what I mean and then I've also had frustrating time with my machine sewing on buttonholes so I haven't managed to get a single successful buttonhole on there and um, the thread just kept on breaking so I think also what I need to do is give my machine a really good clean and then I'll go back and finish you can see I've got kind of half a buttonhole there and it's the same story for all the buttonholes. So I need to go back over those. If need be, I will just manually um, put the buttonholes on using a really narrow zigzag stitch on my machine. But yeah, I've reached the point of frustration with this make. Um, I'll go back to it when I'm feeling less tired. This might be something that I just work on when I get to the half term and I know that I've got a little bit more time to devote to sewing it up. I know I'll be able to figure it out and I know I'll get there, but it's a little bit frustrating because I absolutely love this fabric and I'm so excited to get this coat sewn up. So yeah, in terms of sewing, that's it. That's all I've done. I finished the Heather blazer and I didn't have a huge amount left to do with that. I think I had to put the sleeves on the lining and then attach the lining to the outer um, kind of jacket and then um, hand stitch the bottom and hand stitch the lining where you keep the hole to, to pull the jacket through. And then I thought I would be able to make more progress with my Avril jacket, but I haven't. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I will be able to get my head around the instructions and have a really good try at sewing it up. I have got, however, although I've not been doing a huge amount of sewing, I have been doing a lot of fabric buying and I've got two um, subscription boxes to share with you. So the Ho Sew Helly Jane box has come. And then also I'm a blogger for Publicity Fabrics and they do subscription boxes and it's my month to write a blog post for them so i got sent the um october subscription box i think it's the october one or maybe it's the september one that arrives in october but anyway i've got that to share with you as well before i share those i have got a stack of gorgeous fabric so there's two coating fabrics that i got from fabric godmother josie shared the most beautiful collection of coating fabrics on instagram and i couldn't resist 
these two absolute beauties. There's no story behind the first one. I just absolutely loved the rainbow colours. I think that's absolutely stunning. But the second one, I'll tell you why I bought that one in a second. So the first one, I've just got my notebook. It's called uh, Jemima Houndstooth Stripe Coating. And I've got two and a half metres of this. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Look how gorgeous that is. I love the houndstooth um, stripe effect. I love the colours. Don't know what I'm going to turn it into yet. I would like to turn it into a jacket. Um, I don't have any ideas for a pattern yet. So if anyone's got any suggestions, it's quite a narrow fabric, but I would like to turn it into a coat. Um, so if anyone's got any suggestions, I will need to line it. Um, so I might just get some black lining fabric or maybe I'll pick out one of these colours and go for one of these colours in a lining fabric. Um, but yeah, it's a really lovely weight for a coating fabric. And I'm really excited about turning that into a coat for the winter. Um, so if anyone's got any suggestions of a pattern for that fabric, please let me know. I just couldn't resist those gorgeous colours. I think they're absolutely stunning on that black, black background. It really makes the colours pop. And then the second fabric was described as an Erin brushed check coating. And the reason I got this is I've been looking for a fabric kind of a bit more neon but actually i really love the kind of um it's quite bright but it's not as bright as a neon basically i've been watching emily in paris um over on netflix absolutely love the show and in one of the episodes she wore this incredible blazer in this beautiful bright neon fabric and i've been looking for a fabric that's similar to that for ages and then josie shared this gorgeous fabric and I could just see it being turned into a blazer similar to the one that Emily wore in the in the series. I'll put a picture in now so you can see what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. It's a brushed fabric. I know it's going to be really lovely and snuggly to wear. And I'm going to turn this into the Friday Pattern Company Heather Blazer. I know it's going to work really nicely as the Heather Blazer. Um, I think it's absolutely stunning and I'm really excited about turning this fabric into that. Um, it's quite a wide fabric as well. Um, love all the colours and yeah I'm just hoping that I can replicate a similar kind of look to the blazer from the show as soon as I saw the blazer I fell in love with it um, so I think the fabrics are close-ish match um, yeah but I know exactly what I'm going to turn it into a heather blazer I'm going to have a nice collection of heather blazers by the end of this and then the next fabric I've been umming and ahhing about whether to buy this from First of Fabrics. I saw it maybe a couple of weeks ago. Maybe they shared it in their stories. It's an absolutely beautiful, what do they describe it as? Brushed back French terry jersey called Bows and Heart. It's absolutely stunning. This is it. Um, I think the Bows and Heart detail is so pretty on this kind of burgundy plum background. I think the hearts are really cute and the bows are absolutely gorgeous too. Um, Tammy from Tammy Handmade shared this in her stories and as soon as she saw it, I've armed and armed about getting this fabric for ages and then when she shared it in her stories, I was like, yep, 100% need to go and buy that fabric. So I did. I've got two and a half metres and I want to turn it into a jumper and joggers set. I'll probably use the Tilly and the Buttons Stella joggers and possibly the, I don't think I'll do the hoodie in this, um, but maybe the Billy jumper out of this or I might do the Nina Lee Southbank sweater, but I want to sew up a really cozy joggers and jumper set. Um, one that I can wear around the house, but also I can wear when I go out and about and I'll feel nice and cozy because this jersey's a brushed back um, jersey. It feels really lovely and soft on the inside. And I think that's gonna make a really cute um, jumper and joggers set. So I'm very excited about that. If they've got any of this fabric left, I'll link it down below, but that was from First for Fabric. And then the next thing I've got is my So Heavy Jane box. So it arrived the other day. Um, I haven't had a chance to open it properly, but I did open it very quickly before I was filming this video. So it's issue 71 and it's called Among the Stars for October 2024. There's loads and loads of information in the magazine as usual. And actually there's a really lovely article and I have read this um, whilst drinking a cup of tea and actually I ate the sweet treat that came in the box. Um, Hayley writes about the history of Sir Hayley Jane because it's eight years of boxes which is just incredible. So this month's box, the fabric, is something that I would never walk into a shop and buy. Um, it's a black plain fabric but actually I know exactly what I'm going to use it for. 
so you always get a supplementary fabric um, and that's been the same for the last four or five boxes I think we used to get fat quarters but now we get a meter of a supplementary fabric and it's a cotton fabric which is all like space themed I love that teal color that's probably going to end up being a lining for something we've got Gutterman thread which gives you a clue about the color of the fabric we've got some washi tape which I absolutely love having and um, that's really handy to have when you're sewing. But also what I like to use washi tape for is when I'm decorating cakes, I'll use it to go around the edge of the cake board. It adds a really pretty feature instead of ribbon. Uh, then we also get, and I haven't even opened this, but we get some buttons. And they're really pretty buttons, actually. They're sort of like a galaxy effect. They're marbly. They're absolutely beautiful. So we've got two, four, six buttons. And then the fabric is a plain black cotton dobby fabric. So it's got the dobby effect all over it, but it's a really lightweight plain black fabric. I've got two and a half meters of it. And um, there's lots of suggestions in the magazine to turn it into like a blouse or a dress. And um, it's a really lightweight fabric. You can see that, you can see me through it. I am gonna use this to help me when I sew up my Robertswood drafters grid dress. And I want to use this black dobby for the grid effect on the dress because I'm using all my scraps to sew like the, pa the patchwork almost effect between the grid on the dress. So I know exactly what I'm going to turn this into. And actually it's perfect because I've been looking for a black fabric to, to help me with that dress. So um, firm plans for that one. And I think the black is going to help all of the scrap fabrics that I'm using really pop with the dress. So I'm really excited about making a start on that one. And then the sweet treat, which I've already eaten, was a packet of Haribo sweeties, which are my favourite kind of sweetie. So that was the So Helly Jane box. And then I said about the Felicity fabric box. So I'm going to share the fabric first that I'm going to be using for my blogger make. Um, and it is a soft shell coating fabric. Um, and the reason I picked this is because I have been really enjoying kind of layering up with my outfits. And one thing that has been really adding to my wardrobe over the last probably about four or five weeks has been this lovely I am Heather um, kind of little gilet. I wear it most, oh, I'm just gonna knock something over. I wear it most days. In fact, I wore it out of the house um, with this outfit today. It just adds an extra layer of warmth when it's not too chilly outside, but it is a little bit cooler. Um, and I just want something to add a little bit of warmth. I've worn it to school, quite often I'll start my day with it on and then I take it off by lunchtime. Um, but I really, really love wearing it. So it got me thinking about making another one because I've only got one I Am Heather and I really enjoyed sewing it up. So I requested um, some of the soft shell fabric. I think I got a metre and a half of it. So it's um, navy on the outside with all these beautiful flowers and then on the inside it's pink. So at the moment, um, I wouldn't necessarily have to line the Heather. This version is lined um, and it's got a hood that's lined too. So I need to think about whether I want to line it or do I want to just leave this gorgeous pink fleecy um, fabric on show? And if I was to do that, then I would probably use bias binding to bind all the seams. So I just need to do a little bit of um, planning for that and decide whether I want to just leave that as the lining or whether I want to use a different fabric from my fabric sash to line it. But yeah, that, that's my plans for this beautiful soft shell fabric. So it is called, um, let me find it. It's called Soft Shell Flowers Fabric and it's £8.50 per half metre and they have still got some of this fabric on their website. Um, so I'm very excited about that project and then also I think, I don't know what colour zip to go for. I was thinking pink because I think that would be a really lovely contrast against this fabric and also complement the inside but I might just go with a navy zip. Uh, I need to have a little bit of a think about that but I'm very excited about that project so I'll be sharing little sneak peeks over on Instagram as I get on with that project um, and I'll let you know how I decide to finish the inside if I decide to go for lining or if I decide to use bias binding and then when my fabric arrived it came in this 
huge box which I was very very excited about because as a blogger for them we get sent one of their subscription boxes for the month that we are blogging so I got sent the most recent subscription box that has they've just released details over on Instagram and the theme this month is pumpkin spice and I'd forgotten that we got sent the subscription box so when that massive box arrived, I was very excited and also very surprised to see what was in there. And the contents of the box are absolutely beautiful. I'm very, very excited about using them. So there's three different levels of subscription box. There's the Caroline box, which is £55 per month. And in that you get fabric worth between 30 and 35 pounds. You get sewing items, haberdashery and lots of other lovely extras. The Felicity box is £35 per month and in there you get fabric worth £20 to £25, sewing items, haberdashery and a few extras. And then the Lou box which is £20 per month so you get um, fabric up to the value of £20 and some haberdashery items as well. And then the theme for this month like I said is pumpkin spice. So I got three beautiful fabrics included in the box. They're all beautiful and they really complement themselves. Um, complement themselves they really complement each other is what I meant to say so there's this absolutely gorgeous like burnt orange linen fabric and there is a meter of that beautiful fabric then there's this gorgeous cotton poplin fabric and I think there's a meter of that one as well and it's got pumpkins all over it so I was thinking of using this fabric to sew up some trousers and then make a cute little blouse with this um, I need to have a little think about what blouse I would go for and also what trouser pattern or if I don't do a trouser pattern I might turn this into a beautiful skirt um, and then still go with a little blouse or a little top for this one I was actually hoping I might be able to get like a, um, a look like cropped shirt out of this fabric I need to have a little think about what patterns I've got in my stash. The third fabric that you get in the box is absolutely stunning so it's a jersey fabric it's in this beautiful kind of orangey colour and then can you see the sparkles on the fabric? It's covered in these gorgeous orange like speckles um, and when it catches the light they really sparkle. Now Lola has seen this fabric and she's quite keen for me to turn it into something for her. You get, I think there's two metres of that fabric. It's absolutely stunning and I cannot wait to turn it into, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to turn it into. I feel like there's enough of it to turn it into like a jumper dress. And I think that'd be a really cute jumper dress. So that's what I might do. I might turn it into the Tilly and the Buttons Billy dress. Or I might turn it into, um, I don't know, a jumper um, or a t-shirt. I've got enough to sew up a couple of things if I went with a jumper or a t-shirt. Or I might go with my original idea of turning it into a dress. It's absolutely stunning. And it feels so lovely and soft as well. It's such a beautiful fabric. So I'm very excited about that. So that was the fabric that came in the box. As well as the fabric, you get some thread. You also get, this is so cute, a little pumpkin tea light holder, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then in here, you get a little bag that contains, got some buttons. Um, so they're lovely. They've got beautiful pattern all over them. And if you can see that, let me see if I can open it up and show you got a really beautiful pattern all over them so it's like um flowers flowers and leaves i think all over them really really pretty and then you always get little swatches to tell you exactly um what type of fabric it is so this one is a pumpkin cotton 80 percent cotton 20 percent polyester 110 centimeters wide and it's six pounds per meter then this one was a pumpkin linen, which is 30% rayon, 20% linen, 40% poly and 10% cotton. And that's £10 per metre, 135 centimetres um, wide. What I really love is you get the care guide on the back as well, which gives you information about washing them. This is a glitter jersey, so 96% cotton, 4% elastane, and it is £12 per metre. And then um, this one, which I'm going to be using for the I Am Heather vest, is a soft shell flowers, 145 centimetres wide, 97% poly, I don't know how you say that, polythylene, and 3% spandex. And then you get um, some sweet treats, which are some Werther's Originals. 
and then you also get some black ribbon and then I also got a really cute wooden pencil which I thought was really sweet as well um, so you get so much packed into the boxes they really feel like a lovely little treat um, and I'm really excited about putting those three fabrics together I think they'll work really nicely as an outfit together and actually this fabric might work really nicely I've just thought as a cardigan to go over the top of this if I make a blouse and then this if I turn it into like a skirt or some trousers like I think all three would work really nicely together they're such gorgeous autumnal colours beautiful 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 I'm super excited about using all of those so I link all the information down below if you're interested in checking out their boxes and um, go and have a look on their website they've got some gorgeous fabrics and then if you use the code Liz10, you can get 10% off your order as well. Um, and then the final thing I wanted to share with you is a pattern that I've just bought. And it's very dangerous watching the fold line videos. Um, they shared, I think it was in a video they shared, or it might have been their stories that they shared. Um, but they always share lots and lots of different patterns. And it's a pattern company I've not come across before. But I've been looking for a pattern like this for ages, like months and months and months. I usually go on Pinterest and have a look at lots of different things. That's where I get nail ideas from. Sometimes if I'm thinking about planning cakes, I'll get cake ideas from there. But quite often there'll be gorgeous outfits that pop up on there too. And there was an outfit that popped up. It was for a dress and it had these beautiful like go day details where there was gorgeous like rainbow effect um, like go days sewn into the skirt. It was absolutely stunning and I've never come across a pattern like it before until the fold line shared and um, the scarlet maxi dress by Madeline Intimates. Um, it's this absolutely beautiful um, jersey dress, but then it's got six go days sewn into the skirt. And then the go days you're supposed to use like a super drapey um, fabric, like a viscose or a silk or a voile fabric. Um, I've looked at the examples that the designer shared. They're absolutely beautiful. So I instantly bought the pattern. Um, on the Foldline website, I've got it copy shop printed. Um, I just need to find the right fabric for the go days. Um, and then I'm going to have a go at sewing it up. I'll put a picture in now of the inspiration um, that I saw. I think I probably saw it about six months ago and I've been looking for ages for the right pattern for this style of dress. But it's the Scarlet Maxi Dress by Madeline Intimates. It comes in sizes extra small to 5X. It's described as a fun, elegant maxi dress that has six go days for the ultimate flared skirt and hem. And the bodice features empire seam underneath the bust. Um, it's also got bust darts to create a little bit of shaping. The neckline and armholes are finished with fold over elastic, so there's no closures on the dress. And then in terms of fabric recommendations, for the main part of the dress, they recommend light crust, stretch velvet, stretch lace, um jersey and it's got to have between 8 and 20 percent spandex and then for the go days they recommend any like lightweight very drapey fabric like voile crepe silk it's got to have lots and lots of drapes so that the go days hang beautifully in the dress it is a beautiful looking pattern and i'm very excited about giving it a try because it's something completely new to me i've never tried a pattern like this before um, but yeah, I saw the picture and then when the fold line shared it, it was like the perfect pairing. Um, so I'm really excited about finding the right fabric for the go days and then giving this a go. Um, I'm hoping it'll all come together so that I can have a go at sewing this pattern up over the half term. Um, but yeah, as soon as I saw the pattern, I instantly went and bought it. I think it's such a beautiful looking pattern and very different to anything that I've tried before. So that was everything I wanted to share with you today. Um, I have got lots of sewing plans as usual. Um, I'm going to hopefully pick back up the Avril jacket from Fibre Mood once I've given the instructions a little bit more thought. Um, I need to start cutting out my I Am Heather jacket using that beautiful soft shell fabric from Felicity Fabrics. And I also need to think about what I'm going to use the other three fabrics for as well. So if you've got any suggestions of what I can use those three fabrics for, please let me know in the comments below. And then I'm also going to start work on my Robertswood Drafters grid dress um, because that's going to be my make for the Sew Up Cycle Challenge, which is running throughout the month of October as well. Um, I'm really hoping that I do get a little bit of time in the next couple of weeks to do some sewing, but I have got lots of sewing planned for October half term, which I'm very excited about. 
Thank you as always for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really love it if you could hit that subscribe button because you'll get notified of when I bring out my next video. Thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.